A married couple was going on vacation, but the wife was on a holiday with her friends, so he went to the destination first, and his wife would meet him the day after. Eager to let her know he had arrived safely, he decided to send her a quick email from his hotel. Unfortunately, when typing her address, he mistyped a letter, and his note was directed instead to an elderly preacher's wife whose husband had passed away only the day before. When the grieving widow opened her email and read the unexpected note, she was overcome with shock. Letting out a piercing scream, she collapsed to the floor and fainted. Startled by the commotion, her family rushed to her side and discovered the cause of her distress. The message on the screen that read, Dearest wife, just got checked in. Everything prepared for your arrival tomorrow. P.S. Sure it's hot down here. Three men passed away and ascended to heaven. The gatekeeper informed them, The more you treated your wife well, the better car you'll receive. The first man had been incredibly devoted to his wife, and as a result, he was granted a luxurious Ferrari. The second man had constant arguments with his wife, leading him to receive a worn-out car. Lastly, the third man had been unfaithful to his wife numerous times, so he was given a humble scooter. One day, while riding his scooter, the third man noticed the first man, who was driving the Ferrari in tears. Curious, he asked, Why are you crying? The first man replied, I just caught a tough-looking group of Harley-Davidson bikers were riding when they saw a girl about to jump off a bridge, so they stop. The leader, a big, burly man from Chicago, gets off his bike and says, What are you doing? I'm going to end it, she says. While he did not want to appear insensitive, he didn't want to miss an opportunity, he asked. Well, before you jump, why don't you give me a kiss? So, she does it. After she's finished, the biker says, Wow, that was the best kiss I have ever had. That's a real talent you are wasting. You could be famous. Why are you committing suicide? My parents don't like me dressing up like a girl. A young boy enters a barber shop, and the barber whispers to his customer, This is the dumbest kid in the world. Watch while I prove it to you. The barber puts a dollar bill in one hand and two quarters in the other, then calls the boy over and asks, which do you want, son? The boy takes the quarters and leaves. What did I tell you, said the barber. That kid never learns. Later, when the customer leaves, he sees the same young boy coming out of the ice cream store. Hey, son, may I ask you a question? Why did you take the quarters instead of the dollar bill? The boy licked his cone and replied, Because the day I take the dollar, the game is over.